Hey guys, how you doing? Good evening from Suarez HQ. Now look, you join us as we uh, always, is that the camera back on? We're just having one or two minor. Oh, right, hang on a second. Let me just come back a bit. This, this is a good way to start, isn't it? Right, AD, have you got me back yet? Right, well, we'll just have to... Oh, and now he's got me right. I'm going to stand here then and introduce tonight's live stream. Well, as you can see, we're looking out of the window on a, uh, well, slightly overcast, but quite warm evening here at Suarez HQ. Why am I outside the pod, you may ask? Well, today, one of today's projects, bearing in mind we've been very, very busy, is making a paint rack. So check this out. We just wanted to show you. So all the canvases that get done that aren't yet on their frames get put onto this rack. So Ada's designed it. We've built it this afternoon. Might be a bit dark on the camera, but look at that. Look at all the space we've got. Fantastic. Absolutely brilliant. Right. Okay. So I think it's about ready to go. Well, to introduce the main man. Here he is. Say, say hello, my friend. So there we go. So AD is in control. So a quick look in control. There we go. This is his workstation now for your entertainment. And there we go. Look, there's all the control screens. And he'll be pressing all the buttons for the sound effects and looking very efficient and talking into his microphone like he's... Uh, <laughs> Hello. <laughs> like, like he's at some really professional DJ station on national radio. So there we are, my friend. Yes, all right, I'm going, I'm going. Look, he's telling me to get in. Right, let's get in and say hello. Right, right ladies and gents, so while I get my mask on and get my microphone sorted out, we're going to roll with a few credits and uh, then we'll get started and, uh, and go from there, shall we? So if uh, my friend is ready out there, I suggest we... Uh, Roll the title sequence and we'll be back in 31 seconds. There we go. We should all be back online. I'm just going to do a quick comms check with AD now. Can you hear me, dude? All good. Right. Fantastic. So before we zip up the, uh, the outside of the pod and get ourselves sealed for another evening of amazement and wonder, let's just say a very good evening to you, uh, one and all. I hope everybody's well. Gosh, we are living in some crazy... Aren't these times a little bit odd? Don't you find everything a bit odd at the moment? Oh, it surely is, isn't it? My goodness me. We just want to wish all of you well and hope everybody's keeping healthy and safe and um, everyone's staying positive. I mean, that's the important thing here, so we're all together. It's, uh, it's, it's been a really, really, really ultra busy week for the pair of us. We've been up and down the country several times. We're working on a project we can't reveal anything about. To be honest, we might actually, we might put a few sneaky pictures out on social media, keep an eye on that. But something amazing has happened, genuinely, guys. We, we've been working on this now for a year. Uh, no one knows about it. We, we've reached a milestone in this particular project. We're very, very happy about it. All will be revealed in due course, but I just want to share that with you guys. So if we're a bit rough around the edges this evening, it's because we really are on the... <laughs> we've had quite the week of it and worked ridiculous amounts of hours and travelled and done all things. But we're back here at 7.30. We're back here for you guys. Thank you very much for tuning in. Tell all your friends, get them all on the link. Get them to come and watch the show, the one that you're part of every single week. So thank you very much for that. Um, so yeah, a couple of other things just want to quickly uh, say before we go and have a look on the... Uh, well, actually, I better just click on my link so I can see where everybody is, because that, that would be a good thing, wouldn't it? Instead of just opening a static page, let's actually click the page we're broadcasting on. That would be a good idea. <laughs> Yeah, so in amongst all the other things that we've done this week, we've had, um, we've uh, actually we found it quite tricky. We've got some brand new paint tonight, actually. We can just whiz onto corner cam, uh, sorry, onto chest cam, buddy. So we've got some brand new paints here this evening, guys. So really, uh, really happy to get those going. So we've got uh, some staples here, black, white, and a beautiful mushroom grey. But we've got a really super bright orange. We've got a gorgeous pink. We've got a fab deep purple going on and something in between plus all the other things so we are going to have some spectacular fun but i might just point out ladies and gents 
It's been really quite tricky uh, procuring materials this week. I don't know what's going on in the world. So, But against all the odds, we're still here and we've got tons of stuff to show you tonight, so we really can't wait to get going. Uh, brilliant, fantastic. So just a quick update, just before we say some hellos. Uh, I've had one or two of you asking about merchandise. We are working on it. Uh, we are working on it so much, we're trying to get to it. Uh, lots of designs, lots of different things at the moment with a brand new supplier. We'll keep you posted. It is on its way. Shouldn't be too long. We'll have a big launch. Lots of really exciting, cool things if you're interested in. And we'll update you as soon as we can. All right, so just keep an eye on social media. You know where to follow me. It's all over there. Just type in... Oh, what's up to me, Mike? There you go. Just type in Suarez and you'll find us, all right? We're on every single network. You know that by now, guys. So. Uh, brilliant, fantastic. So, um... What else have we got to say? I think that's Let's have a quick look, shall we? Who's online this evening? Let's do some hellos. I'm going to flick back up to the top of the list. And uh, let's see who we can give a good old shout out to. So, Devanda Studio Swamp Yankee Guitars is also here. Patty Nelson, Daisy Lungmeyer, Funny Fox are all here. Good evening to you guys. Uh, Richard Wills and Ian Holmes is here. Good evening, guys. How are you doing? Katie Herring is here. Good evening. Kelly Karish Shocker is here. Uh, Nelson Nascimento is here. Sorry if I got your name. <laughs> Nelson Junior, there we go, that's fine. Yeah, for some reason I can't go all the way to the top of my list, unfortunately, but that's fine. Devanda Studios, I know, is here. Uh, James Sims, good evening, James Sims. And uh, thank you for, uh, for, uh, for subscribing to us on Patreon as well. Thank you, James. And who else have we got? We've got Wayne Tully Art is here. And Zane is here. Uh, from New Zealand. Hope you've been out surfing today, Zane, and uh, got yourself a cheeky little cappuccino to watch us with. And Shannon Collins is here. And who else have we got? Stanley Kubrick. And we've got Alton Saul. Ah, now they're right. Let me come down my list. Uh, from California. Good evening. Nana Mayer is here. Good evening to you too. The Rita and Tina Lanning say hello. And oh, Rita's in New York. I hope it's nice where you are. And we got Kim Ray, I am Megan Michael, hello, nice to see you back here. Trina's here, Aishwara Vade is here, and Angela Smith is also here. And, uh, oh, it's 11 degrees in New Zealand, nice. Jay Moore Flo, Denise Weeks, and Les Knight is also here. This is great, guys, it's so nice to see you this evening. Amaz Art is here, good evening. Antonia Payan is here. Uh, oh, he was up to him f up till 5 a.m. Now that's commitment for you. Well done. Okay, brilliant. Trev Wells is also here. Damiana Herrera, Explode 1989. Good to see you back here. And this is really doing well. Mary, I said Mary Moore, I think I have. And Kim Ray, let's go back. Richard Easton is down here. Trove Bespoke, nice to see you. And Gaz Rogers, I've just seen. Chaos Strander is here. Very nice to see you all so much. Right, great, fantastic. Oh, James! James Sims has, has just donated. Oh, goodness me. Ten bucks. Thank you, James. Thank you so much. Can we have a thank you there, please, Amy, for, for James? Thank you. Thank you, my friend. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Brilliant. James, thank you so much, as always. You, you, your support is, is amazing, so thank you very much indeed. That helps, it all helps us, it really does. So thank you very much for that, my friend. That is really going to be it. Right. So we're just going to do a quick mic check, guys. So just to check that everything is good with the mic. So um, I'm just going to push it up a little bit because it might be a little bit quiet. So just bear with me a second. How's that, buddy? Is that any better? Okay. Okay, right. Hopefully that is okay. I've just seen uh, Lucy Blake is also here. Good evening, Angela Smith. Thank you very much for joining us. Right. Okay, then. So we're about to get going in just a moment. I'm just going to quickly, we'll look through the cameras in a second, but I want to introduce you to what's going on on here because this is the main event. This is the focus for this evening. Now, uh, for those of you who've seen the streams before, you may have seen us do a big six foot round painting uh, probably nine, ten weeks ago maybe. Gosh, how the time flies when you're having fun. So tonight we decided to change things a little bit and actually return back to that principle but using a different technique. Okay, so we are on the spin table, there's no enclosure, so we're on slow rotations this evening, so we're going to try things a little bit differently. And I might point out there is lots of special sauce coming, oh yes. <laughs> Back by, by popular demand. 
So we're going to be using plenty of that as well tonight, guys, all right? So what we've got queued up on here, so if we say hello to Overhead Cam, if we can do that, please, buddy. Good evening, Overhead Cam. Okay, so basically what we've got here, uh, this is one we had done previously. Unfortunately, during moving it, uh, we damaged it. And uh, so we're going to be covering this over and uh, doing something different tonight. So we're going to give this a brand new lease of life, do something amazing. So that's why there's already something on here. Okay, brilliant. So let's go over and say good evening, PTZ camera. Hi. You're going to have a great view on the, on the camera from this particular camera this evening. Nice. So we're uh, really looking forward to that. And uh, chest cam. Let's just make sure chest cam our connection is good. Okay. Right, uh, my friends, I think we're about ready to go. So I'm going to seal the pod up. We, we're still on corner cam, so I'm just going to be over in the corner. I'm just going to seal up the pod. And then we are going to get ourselves off and spinning, I think. Right. So, uh, Aid is going to nip out of the pod now. He's going to pop the extraction system on. Now, so we have for some bizarre reason seem to have some technical issue that the microphone tends to disappear when we put the extractor on so if i'm talking and suddenly the audio stops it will reset the microphone and i'll come back on as soon as Aidy's back in the pod so if i disappear don't worry we know what the cause is okay right then so first thing i need to do is to get the spin machine plugged in so Okay, one, two, one, two. Ah, we're back. Thank you, buddy. That's brilliant. So we got the audio back. We have no idea why there's this very strange frequency interference with electricity going on, but it always knocks the microphones out. Right, let's just have a, a shout out. Pinkie Pie is here. Good evening, Pinkie Pie. Thank you for joining us again. John Bewley is here. Uh, we've been having a chat on Instagram this week, so nice to see you here, John. And uh, who else have we got? I just noticed one other person. So obviously we want to try and give everybody a shout out, but if we have missed you, Apologies, and uh, we will try and uh, <laughs> give you a shout out as the evening goes on. But this is great, everybody's in the house. We're about ready to do some painting, I think. Uh, yes, yeah, so Ian Home says the spin table is back, but there's no play pen this evening. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, you're absolutely right. I've been that out. I've been that into the wild tonight, so uh, let's have some fun. Ah, so I'm Megan Michael, San Francisco. Yes, just think we just saw that. That's good. And uh, oh, John Beauty's in Texas. Texas, y'all. Excellent, fantastic. Right then, let's get some gloves on. Uh, oh, Nicholas Caged is here. And Paul Amberart is here. This is good. Hey, guys, it's very nice of you all to join us this evening. Very nice of you to join us. So uh, I think about we're about ready to get started then. And I think what we're going to do, guys, is uh, crack open some of the new paint. And uh, let's have a go. Now, we had to switch a couple of the big lights off this week um, <clears throat> just because of the way the light is in here. It's <laughs> although it looks great on the camera, it's very off putting in here because certain parts of the, 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 the uh, pod are very d sort of dark. And I was just saying to Aidy before we came in there, I'm not used to that. I'm used to having the lights everywhere and being bright and shiny. Okay, right, so, okay, here we go. Now we're going to start off with some white. I'm going to use a very gentle rotation this evening. I'm going pretty much straight from the cam. I've got a couple of additives to stick in, and uh, we're going to so we're going to start off with some. Yeah, I've got a couple of brushes over here. Right, okay, let's get some paint. Should, should we have a gentle start, shall we, ladies and gentlemen? Let's, let's get things spinning off, shall we? Right, so I think first I'm going to apply some white, and uh, we're going to get some white around the edges because uh, I've got a, come on table, spin, spin, come on. I'm turning the dial. Oh, I could barely start the excitement. There we go. Phew. <laughs> Otherwise, it's going to be a very, very short evening. Right. 
that is excellent. I'm going to tuck the controller under there. Let's just get that up and running. Right, here we go. Let's get some white out and let's just start with that. So these are brand new and I might add very expensive <laughs> tins of paint. Good lord. Right, so we need to get some of that out. There you go, that's about 20 quid. Right. So I need to pop a couple of uh, additives into there and then we'll get going. So initially, now I'm going to change things just a little bit this evening. Now, if you've seen the previous spin table sessions that we've done, this normally at some point included quite a fast rotation or speed. So we're going to change that tonight and use a different sort of set of techniques. Now, as Ian Holmes alluded to earlier, there is no safety net, there's no playpen, there's no barriers, and uh, there's nothing really stopping the, anything between me and the paint. So tonight, this is all about control and about doing something a little bit different, all right? So I think the first thing is, is I want to get on the outside. I want to get ourselves some white paint on. So I'll just check with AD. So we're OK on the PTZ there, aren't we, dude? Yeah? OK. So uh, I'm all right to start on the outside then, buddy, yeah? Great stuff. Right, let's let's get some on the outside. Now, for the technically uh, adept of you, uh, we've actually keyed the surface of the paint. I should have shot a video about this earlier, actually, because <laughs> it looks like, no, what are you doing? The pair of us have got a rough, fairly rough grade of sandpaper, and we're sanding the surface of the painting, um, which is, <laughs> you might think, when you're attacking it with sandpaper, well, Ed, what are, you, what are you guys doing? But in actual fact, it's very important to key the surface so that the paint that goes on it sticks properly. That's all it is. Right, uh, I think we might break out some sponges actually. Let's give that a little go. Now I'm going to douse my sponges uh, with a little bit of thinners. Oh, Elizabeth K, good evening. Nice to see you. Okay, so third eye open is also here. Hey, very nice to see you. Very nice. So we're just going to gently tease this white around. And one of the really good things I like about these, these fairly slow speeds and everything going completely mental is that actually the level of control that I have is much greater. So if I want to do things like get more accurate lines or be a little bit more controlled as to the volumes of paint and where they go, then this does exactly that. So the, the object of the exercise tonight is not to shove it all off in all different directions. This is, uh, this is about you know, a different kind of spin. So I just want to gently work in. I don't want to put anything too thick on here. Gently work stuff in. Now, the more the, the more that I uh, that I move this, then of course <clears throat> the drier it will get. So, as always with this kind of uh, speed, I'm just going to bring that up just a little bit. Okay, so I can just work a little bit quicker. It would be kind of ironic if my sponge flew off and smacked me in the face. Now, wouldn't it? <laughs> Okay, I think that's a little bit better. So, you know, this is like playing an LP record, you know. You remember those, don't you? Remember record players? Vinyl? You must all remember that. Say what? <laughs> Say what? Yeah, that's funny. I remember vinyl, yes. I remember saving up to buy to buy some very rare vinyls in my time. What's the rarest What's the rarest album someone's ever bought? You know, tell, tell me that. I'll tell you the one that I bought. Yeah, thank you, Zane. That's very kind. Don't forget to give us a, uh, a like. Give us a thumbs up, guys. So, uh, you know, show your appreciation and support. That would be great. Thank you very much. And don't forget, if you're not already subscribed, and what's the message? He said on Corner Cam. Remember, go give us a subscribe. It's really important because, oh, well, you know all that already. It's awesome. So you need to subscribe. Um, it really does help the channel and helps us. So thank you for that. Right, okay, so we've got a little bit of white on so far. Happy days. So that's reasonably well spread out so far. And now, this, this, this is the thing I was, we, we were chatting about this before we came on. Do I start to go darker into the centre? Ooh. So i tell you what I'm going to do. Actually, yeah, let's just, um, yeah, I've just had a thought, actually. Let's just get that on the overhead. Nice. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> You're feeling sleepy. Okay, fab. Right, I'm going to keep the uh, sponge out because I've got a feeling I'm going to need that. It's very hot in here. Whew. Okay, right, so let's figure out another colour. And I'm going to crack open 
Oh, one of my new tins tonight. I think. Ooh, right. What do I like this? This is a this is a very subtle purple. I did get. I thought I'd ordered a lilac, but obviously not. Because uh, Aidy's favourite colour is lilac. <laughs> I was going to shove a load of that on. Right. Okay. So let's grab this one open, and we'll go with a really nice, uh, nice, gorgeous purple here. So initially, this is just about breaking some of the uh, some of the bottom of the painting up. Now uh, we're going to stick to a similar a lot of colour how we've already got. So the palette of colour isn't going to change too much, although <laughs> having said that. Oh very good the reason, yes, if you spin it backwards does it give you a secret message? <laughs> oh it's very tempting, isn't it? What should I say there? I don't know. <laughs> you just want to know about our secret project, don't you? Yeah. All will be complete. What I will just say, just while I'm putting the purple on, and I mean this, uh, and AD will be hopefully nodding his head, there's nothing like this ever been done, ever. So what we've got sat in the gallery right now is unique in all of mankind, all of humankind, it really is. That's all I can say. And I, I don't think anyone's crazy enough to have uh, attempted anything like this before. <laughs> Probably... Um, when you see it, you'll probably understand why, because the amount of work that's gone into it is just, just crazy. So we're, we're a year into this now and it's still not finished, but we are making progress. So that's the most important thing and we can't wait to share it with the world as and when it's done, but we're just all going to have to be a little bit more patient. So you can see on the overhead now, now what I'm going to do now with the purple, because it's not all going to be about concentric circles, this is just about um, getting some paint on for now. So I just want to get this into rough, some rough kind of base coated sort of scenario and that gives us an opportunity then to do some uh, really cool things over the top. So the main, most important thing now is, is I'm working the paint to get the, the paint that's underneath covered. I just want to manoeuvre this so I'm really not worried too much about the amount of lines that I've got showing from underneath. I just want all the paint to fuse that's over the top. Now we can start going with the special source and doing stuff with the bands very shortly but for now I want to keep this quite quite simple quite kind of light and uh, not be too heavy on the paint so this is just a question of just maneuvering the paint around here and then right okay that's no, not too bad okay good good right so that's a drop of purple done. I'm going to pop these colours down below because I don't want my uh, table to become too confused. Okay, good, good. So let's get some lightness into the centre now. Let's get something moving. Now yeah, then, <clears throat> I think actually, yeah, that's probably quite a nice interlude. Uh, no, I'm not going to do that one. Yes, that's the one I want. Give that a bit of a shake. Um, Try and calm myself down now we're on chest cam. Ooh, there's, there's nothing like opening a tin of paint that you've not opened before. I do enjoy it. Okay, what have we got? Oh, that's that's rather pleasant. <laughs> okay, let's get some of that. And we'll get some uh, of our additive popped in. There we go, give that a little wallet brand. And I think once, once I get into the centre, guys, we'll come and have a little look see where everybody is on the chat because I can see you all having a nice time over there so I don't want to feel left out so I'll come over and have a chat in just a minute now let's get that quickly mixed in now this is a little bit of a hybrid so <clears throat> although this does have a, an official color name so what we've got here as you can see on the overhead now I'm just going to go into the center and start working this out Let's just get a fresh one of those. So we need to really spread this out now because I need this to be quite thin. And that's fine. We can gently start moving this out. Because again, I just want to get the canvas covered for a moment before then we start worrying about other things. AD says it looks like his t-shirt. <laughs> there we go. Right, okay, so we can bring this out here because I know it's got a light, so we're getting towards the white. And I really want to try and preserve the white if I can. Because it's rare that I really attack paintings this kind of size with white all around the edges. So 
quite determined to uh, this evening just to get ourselves a nice white layer. So Nicholas Cage has asked, uh, do I put thinner in the paint? Well, yes, yes I do actually. Now at the moment there's no thinners in this paint. Uh, I've, uh, I've put one of the chemical in, uh, but it's not a thinning agent. Uh, it's, just an it's just a life extender really, just gives me a bit more working time with the paint. Uh, but yeah, if I want to, you'll probably see the thinners in action as we go on. So, um, <clears throat> let me get out of the way while ladies on that camera. There you go, now you can see what's going on. Yeah, so, um, you know, thinning is a very, very important part of what, what goes on with the paint. And, uh, you know, it just helps it go, you know, where you need it to go, really. The other thing about thinning paint, it does have a direct effect on, A, it's drying time, and also uh, what happens to the glossiness of it. So whilst we've got other chemicals we can put in the paint, which will affect how glossy or not glossy something is. Thinners also does have an impact on that as well. So it's an easy win if I want to uh, I'm slow this down a little bit. Uh, yes, the hoop t-shirts are Stanley. That's right, it does look a bit like that. Right, I'm just going to slow it just a little bit. Because now I'm going to go in with a different tool and I'm going to settle down uh, the difference between the white and the maroon. And then we're going to start working in... Oh, not all together. No, there we go. No, can we keep it going, Ed? That's it. Why have you stopped it? No, come on. It's quite subtle. Ah, it's better. I think it's actually going somewhere now. <laughs> right, okay, so... Ah, <laughs> Richard Will says it looks like the uh, Doomsday Machine from Star Trek. I don't think I've got back to that episode yet, but... Uh... <laughs> Excellent. I've been watching a lot of Star Trek recently, though. Star Trek Next Generation. Oh, classic series. Okay, so we're going... Which camera are we on, buddy? Okay, brilliant. So look, we're going in with Builder's Float. So let's get all this mixed in. This is all nice, like a Raspberry Ripple ice cream, there. Beautiful. So I'm just holding this fairly lightly on the surface. No heroics. And I'm just going to keep this manoeuvred around. Because I want to fill in. There are a few indentations here and there. So I want to try and fill that in. And it's just about teasing it out. I don't want it to come too far over onto the white. Like I said earlier. Now I can always put my white on. Absolutely fine. But this feels like, you know, throwing pots. You know, and, you constantly go round and you run your finger around and you, you change the shape of something, not like doing much pottery. I don't do any pottery. What am I talking about? It's fine. Okay, so I'm just going to hold it there. Now you can see I've got a couple of white lines developing, which are really nice. That'll come to play as uh, we start to get other stuff on. So just for now, I just want to make sure that it's reasonably even all the way around. So I'm just kind of holding my nerve a little bit now on the slow rotation just to get the paint more evenly distributed. Right guys, so what we found is that uh, when we do play this, uh, with a, uh, we, we, we get a needle on a piece of wood and we play it onto there into a, a sort of a small trumpet shape bit. It says, please subscribe to Suarez, don't forget to give a thumbs up. That's, I think that's what it says anyway, when we, when we try to play our giant disc there anyway. <laughs> yes indeed, yes it, oh, has it stopped? Why has it stopped? No. Was that me? That was me. Okay. That's better. Yeah, I'm obviously pushing against it and slowing it down. Right, just going to quickly tidy the edges up, just so we don't dry the drips off too much. That's quite spinny, actually. Uh, it's so pretty. Okay, that's fine. Good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> Stanley, give it, I'm, I'm not surprised you've said it looks like HAL 9000. <laughs> I'm sorry. Oh, go on. AD, AD's gonna, AD's gonna do it. Go on, AD. Sorry, Dave. I can't do that. See, you get it all here, look. Now you've got a reference to 2001 A Space Odyssey. Oh my goodness me, eh? Where else can you get that on the internet at half past seven at night? Okay, brilliant. Now, if we can whiz on to chess cam, buddy, that would be awesome. Look what we've got. Cha-ching! Say what? I don't know if you can see that. Let's go over to a camera. Let's try corner cam. That is the most beautiful orange there is. It's gorgeous. I had that mixed specially this week. Can't wait to use it. So I think we should. Shall we use it? Should we just do it, buddy? Shall we? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? Shall we do it? Do it. Just do it. Yesterday is said tomorrow. So just do it. Make your dreams come true. Nothing is impossible. 
impossible. No, what are you waiting for? Do it! Just do it! Yes, you can! Right, in that case then, if Shia, Shia says do it, we are going to do it. Now I'm going to change my tooling. So we've used currently sponges. We've used a builder's float. Now I'm going to use a paintbrush. So let's go in with the orange. And I want to try work this orange from the center out. But again, I don't want to spin this too much. So I'm just going to use the controller just to come down just a fraction. Just a fraction. Now we're still holding the white around the edges, which is my intention, which is great. Just, I don't know if that's ever so slow. As, but, right, OK. Here we go. And I could just reach into the middle. There are no sharp edges this evening. So I do stand a chance of uh, keeping hold of whatever's down there. So we're just going to do a very, just a reasonably small amount of orange, just for now. And this is where I've really got to be quite careful. Thankfully now, things will start to pan out because this is where the slow rotational speed, instead of going like a ball in a china shop, this is where it really pays dividends. Now I've got to be careful, so. Right, so we're just going to look at the audio a second, guys. So we're just going to see if AD needs to make any adjustments. So I'm just going to be very quiet, just while I blend in the orange. So it's not that I've gone away or anything. But this is where we want to start really doing some of this subtle blending now. Okay, so we're just going to test out just to see if we need to do anything as far as the audio goes. So please be patient with us. Thank you so much. Well, Right, so uh, we're going to test this out now. So aid has popped, <laughs> popped the upper level. So we're going to do some on the fly audio adjustments, hopefully, for you. So just bear with us while we do that, guys. Right, I'm just going to give that a moment while we're recreating the uh, birth of the universe. <laughs> okay, right, let's have a little look on chat here. Okay, uh, I can see some black right after the shading, says James. Interesting. Uh, Ed's having to concentrate, less talking. I know it, it's, it's virtually impossible to shut me up, but um, sometimes I do. Um, tell me what I'm going to do. I'm going to slide the mic down just a little bit. Okay, I'm just going to test that. How's that, buddy? Is that a, I'll pull it down half an inch. Okay. Okay. Weird. Okay. 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 Ada's just let me know that the uh, clipping filter, uh, the noise reduction filter, isn't uh, working as it should be. Um, okay, fantastic. So, uh, well, Ada, you've got so, some thumbs up for my Mega Michael, and Devander Studio says it sounds better now, so you're, you're doing great, mate, so thank you for that. Oh, Chaostrander, Infinity Portal. What a good... Can I, can I write that down? I think if it stays like this, that's going to be great. Right, what did you say? Infinity... I'm going to write this down. Infinity Portal. What a cracking name. We're only halfway through. Infinity Portal, thank you so much. I'm, I'm loving that. Right, main, note made. Uh, Funny Fox and Duty Calls. Uh, off to look after George. Well, thank you for joining us, Funny Fox. Sorry to see you go. <laughs> Um, look out for social media in a week, I'm sure we'll be able to post some photos of it for you. Um, Midwest Monster, the, the, who likes the blending, thank you very much indeed. And uh, what else have we got? And uh, uh, Stargate, Richard Wills. Hey, Stargate's good as well. Blimey, you guys are on fire. Stargate, right. 
Okay, so we're just in there. Well, we're protecting this in the centre, which is going really nice. That blend has worked really good. Now, so you can understand why I put the volume of paint on that I did, because I knew that I was going to start to blend this all together. So the questions that I'm facing now are, what am I going to do around the edges? Now, it is very tempting as this starts to fade out to go into like a black. So if any black goes on, it's going to be a very tiny little ring of black. Um, and I think actually that might work. So I'm, AD's got the best view, so I'm going to just chat to AD for a second, guys. So, yeah, okay, I'm going to put my finger there, mate, as a, as a black line. What are you seeing now on the overhead? Can you tell me the lo location for a black line? Somewhere around there, yeah? Yes, 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 yes. So run it on there, on that white line, yeah? No, the outer one, yeah, okay. I will run a black around there, just a very tiny one, so I'm going to shot blast this, okay, that's fine. Yeah, because it, it's, even though I can see it on the laptop, guys, I, I, it's, it's, he's got such a good view on the monitors. Um, yeah, he's, uh, yeah, just have a look on the laptop. Oh, yeah, 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 that, that looks pretty good, actually, yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> Infinity Portal Stargate. Let's get some, oh, I've got the shot glass. Right, let's get some, let's get some black on. Now, I do have... Let's just check on... No, let's just do that. Yeah, it... Right. Okay, right, so... <coughs> rotational speed, check. That black is about to go on, check. Now, this is where it probably gets interesting. Uh, okay, let's see if I can hit my mark then. So I'm going to get my finger roughly where I need to be. It's that line there. So if he goes nothing, let's see if I can hit it. Now, I don't mind if I've got two bands together. Just trying to even this out a little bit. Now, whilst they just look like, well, Clinton's on a record at the moment, I'm going to get the brush on that. And then we're gonna, there we go, so not too much. So, crucial thing is now I'm also gonna do the same. Now, who was it who asked the question earlier on about thinners? Which camera are we on, buddy? If we could just switch on to corner cam for a second, that'd be cool. Uh, so this is the one that I've been blending the orange with. Now I wanna keep that, <coughs> excuse me, going, because I've already got the thickness of paint on there and it's the paint I've been using. But now, crucially, because the black is a little bit, uh, the black is always a little bit more dense. I've just sprayed my camera with this, but the black is a bit more dense and it doesn't move so well. So one of the little tricks that I do use, especially when using brushes, compared to all the other paints, is if I need to move it with the same kind of force, I just need to spray the end of the brush and as this hits, as thin as it's on contact with the black, it just helps it spread out a little bit. So that's all that is. Okay, a little tip we've learned over the years as to how to move paint that doesn't really want to move as fast as the stuff around it. I have returning from Devander Studios. Whoa, these are great. Yeah, Daisy, considering the blue. Yeah, I was considering the blue in the centre, actually. But just for now, let's see if we can get this blend going while the paint is still active. Now, one of the crucial things I need to do, because there isn't a huge volume of black on here, I need to try and work from the centre and uh, move it out towards the outside because I've got a splodge on the outside. So. I'm trying to hopefully pick up some of the paint that's already on the outside and blend this all together. I think I think I should be all right. So I'm just thinking now maybe we cue in the special sauce. Now you remember at the start we said we're going to use it. So now I can feel this through the brush. It's amazing what you can feel through the brush. Genuinely, it is. It's, it's quite uncanny. You, know, you can feel it dragging, you can feel as you put pressure on, take pressure off what's happened to the paint underneath. Now I can see it on this fairly slow speed, that's got quite a halo around it. I always want to diffuse that just a little bit, so what I'm going to do, let's go in with a special source, and let's see what that, that's going to do. Oh, they're, they're coming through the names, Gradient Gravitas. These are fantastic guys, thank you so much. I have Eternia. I've got to write these down quickly, I've got to write these down. <laughs> I of Eternia, and what was the other one? Oh, I've got to write down quick, quick, quick. Gradient Gravitas. These are so good. Thank you very much, everybody. 
Marvellous. Special sauce time, okay. <laughs> right, okay, here we go. Right, so I'm going in with a special sauce, if you're not used to this before. Uh, <clears throat> this is a uh, mixture of basically all the chemicals that we have, including one very special one, which has never been revealed, but I'm going to actually gonna spray it that way. And I'm just going to pop this on. So this is going from the outer edge of the black, and then this will be my bridge point between the white and the purple. So I'm just going to give that a generous spray. This is going to keep the paint liquid, but then it starts to do something rather wonderful and magical, which when we stop the spin, you'll be able to see what I mean. So we're going to go back in now with our brush. I've got, I've got a desire now to, to, to want to, to want to do something, just, just tease that black out a little bit. So whilst I've got quite a, quite a line on the inside, I want to try and diffuse the line on the outside, so this is all blending. Now I know I said on the YouTube description this is fluid, but you know, as the day kind of went on and we were chatting about stuff, we just thought, well, do you know what, I think we need to bring the table back out and we need to do something uh, a bit slower but a bit more controlled because it's nice to be able to show you guys what the different kinds of things you can do with the same equipment, you know, we just don't want it to be the same every time. And, this is one of the things you can do to, to, to try and push your own sort of boundaries as well. So I think it becomes a really, really important thing to, to have the time to try other things. Right, okay. So I think let's let me have a quick look at that on the overhead as far as that black line goes. Really happy with the centre, that's great. Uh, <clears throat> so uh, Ah Denise Week's Dark Side of the Moon, yeah that does seem very fitting, yeah, my, my one of my favourite fans. Uh, okay, that's fantastic. Yeah, thank you, James. Yeah, the, the, the bit in the centre is very dynamic, isn't it? Um, it's actually an orange, but the orange is, is just looking absolutely fantastic. Right, so I'm just going to queue myself up now, having a look on the overhead. Because I just, I've got to be so careful now with this black. I don't want it to mess. I still might diffuse it out a little bit because I think it's too, uh, too uniform. So just having a look now. Bear with me, everybody. Uh, the overhead should be coming up now. There we go, fantastic. Oh, Stanley Kubrick says, Heart of the Sun, nice. Uh, Pinkie Pie really defines the colours, thank you very much. Uh, Edel, your art has its own life and energy, says Katie Herring, guys, thank you so much. That's just fantastic, thank you. Right, so looking on that now, yeah, I like the, the dark, but I think that could be diffused just a little bit. So we've got our special sauce on, which is nice. I just need to give this a little bouncing, and I mean just a little one with the fillers. Sure, I just need to help that black on its way around, that's all it is. Right, let's just try that and I think then we're ready to move on and decide where my next bit is going to be. And of course, as usual, when things are going really well, you have to stop and ask yourself, at what point do you stop? And it is always such a problem trying to define that stop point. <laughs> now, uh, sometimes us creators, we get it right and uh, a lot of the times we get it wrong so i think especially with this being a more relaxed and purposeful kind of thing within the scene i'm really quite determined that i absolutely have to get the stop point right so i'll be talking a lot with Aidy, who who's my eyes in the sky uh, just so we get everything right well, ah richard wills that's a that's a very good one and yeah, yeah thank you very much for that both of you these are great names everyone's coming out isn't it fantastic Okay, right, this is good so far. So what I think I want to do now, I'm going to be deciding on what I'm going to do with the outside. Now at the moment, that blending out in the centre is really fantastic. Crucially now, guys, what I don't want to do is spin this too much and overwork it because it's all going to start moving around. So <clears throat> I think I've probably got 10 minutes or so before this really starts to go off. So one of the crucial things while I'm working on the rest of it is making sure that what I've got there doesn't start moving all over the place. If it does, I've got a small window to go back over it and redefine the blends again. But I've got to say, as you can see probably from the overhead, it's, this is looking pretty stunning. Okay, right, so I need to deal with the outsides. Now this is going to be interesting because this is starting to dry now, so I'm going to be very super ultra careful on this. So I'm going to give it a little spray. And now this is just a small little pump, just really just to keep the painting fluid. So let's go that round the outside. I'm paying particular attention to trying to keep the line 
where we've got the division between purple and the white. Now if I was ever going to introduce anything else, this is the point at which I do it. Now then, I've got to admit, I quite fancy a little drop of gold around the edge. What do we all think? Mm. I've got a feeling gold could look rather special around right there, so uh, what do we all think? Yeah. So I think, you know, I think let's just have a go and see if we can, uh, we can do something with the gold. So a little bit of rain. Oh, Paul Amber says it reminds him of the Looney Tunes logo. I suppose it does. <laughs> yeah, but it'd be, it'd be that's all, folks. <laughs> Andy's just done that in my ear, and trust me, his impression was far better than mine. Right. Oh, Tim, Tim Heath, eh? Did you say Tim Heath? Good evening, oh, Tim and Ellen I, from sunny France. I hope you guys uh, are enjoying it. It's very nice to see you. Hello, <laughs> good evening. Good friend of mine is Tim. Nice of you to join us this evening, guys. Thank you so much. Okay, right, so I'm just going to add a tiny drop of one of my additives. And I'm going to pop some special sauce in here as well. A little squeeze of that. And this does some crazy stuff, it really does. It almost starts to go off doing these weird things while it's inside the container. Right, so we're going to try the gold between the purple and the white now because, you know, what's going on in the centre is really good and really strong. So let's see if we can bridge the gap. I don't want this to get cold and uninviting. It needs to stay warm. And I think we're just going to reduce it a little bit. Right, okay, so I've got to, got to concentrate now. So, at this point, I am going to change the brushes because what I don't want to introduce is too many other colours into the gold, otherwise I'm going to diffuse the gold, and that is bad. So I'm just going to get a one-inch brush. I need to keep it going fluid. So again, know which camera we saw on the overhead, buddy, yeah? Okay. So I'm just going to spray the end of my brush, and we'll stay on the overhead for just a second. Right, let's see if we can tease this out now. Let's see, let's see what we get. So I might go a little bit quiet now, guys. But I just need to define my lines. So I just need to concentrate for a moment. Back in just a sec, guys. I'm just having to. Is this in a line? I need really need to sort out first. Now I can see a band of gold developing in the centre, so I might switch to the four-inch brush in just a second. Now, because I put the special sauce on, what happens then? See, uh, when I put, well I mixed it with the special sauce, it tends to split, which is one of the reactions that you get with one of the chemical additives. So. You know, this I may have to then go back in with the whites to redefine the edge from the outside. So I'm just having that, I'm just having that concentrate moment where I'm just trying to figure out the best way to go with this. So I'm just going to stop there a second just so we can have a look. Right, okay. Right, let's have a look on the overhead and see what that's looking like. Yeah, reasonable, reasonable. 
not too bad, not too bad, not too shabby. I think what I'm going to do now is work some white from the outside. Now we mix white early doors, that's fine, God's okay, I've still got this one line that isn't quite how I want it, so I want to just re-go over everything with a, with a touch of white on the outside, that's fine. So this is my, my white that's going to cover all the other stuff up. Now we did attack that first off with the, uh, <coughs> with the sponge, so I'm going to continue with the sponge. Uh, let's get that mixed in as well. So I think now I'm going to you know, kind of pull these lines into each other and uh, just see how we get on. Don't mind if that falls down the edges because it's quite easy to tidy the edges up. Okay, so I'm just going to spin that a little tiny bit more. It's very, very subtle on the controller here tonight. It really is. <clears throat> okay, so that's fine. Let's, let's get spinning. Let's define some more of these lines. Because this is this is the bit where I really want to try and uh, and blend it all together, all right? But I don't want to lose that white around the edge because it's the white at the moment that's containing everything, and I'm really liking that. So this is the crucial bit now where I've really got to think quite hard about what's happening with the paint as it's touching the sponge. Now I don't know if you can see that on the overhead, but I'm starting to move that back into the painting. Now I don't mind that at all because actually, where the gold is meeting the purple isn't quite as defined in terms of a line as I would want. So this is the point now where I'm hopefully going to try and fuse all that together. Now, I don't mind if I go quite close to the black actually at some point. It's not, not a problem. Because really as long as I'm containing everything inside the black line, I think that we're going to be okay. So in terms of thought... <laughs> Who was that man? Reef Gaming's late. You're right. Back of the class. Do, do your lines. You're in detention. I'm only joking. Lovely to see you. Um, yeah, so, you know, trying to explain some of the processes or thoughts that go through the head, which is actually one of the aims of, of, of doing the live stream, is to try and give you an insight in just to the kinds of things that do go on here, you know, whether whether that's common or typical. I genuinely have no idea, but it's what we do between us. So, you know, hopefully you find that entertaining because you can see the kinds of thought processes that go into the paintings, you know, no matter how complicated or not you think the techniques are, there is still a great deal of thought that goes in them. And I think when you put the thought behind something, it does tend to show in what you put out there. Right, okay, so enough of that philosophical stuff. Let's concentrate on what's going on. Now then, okay, so what I'm just going to do is just, I'm just going to stop it for a minute and stop everybody from going completely do that, eh? Now this will probably take a moment. It's like, like trying to stop a ship, isn't it? <laughs> Those have just gently come to a halt now. Uh, we on corner, are we, dude? Come on, I can Hello! <coughs> okay, right, so fab. What this hopefully does now, I'm going to give Andy just an opportunity to, if you want to, zoom in. Let me turn it around for you, buddy. I'm going to turn it to the front, because I want you to have a look at some of what's happening here with the gold. So, one of the reasons why I was quite... There we go. Let's see if Andy can get a shot of that. One of the reasons why I'm quite anxious to then go from the white coming back into the gold was to do this because I know what happens when you put the, sauce, the special sauce on it you get these insane kind of rivers and valleys and striations going all the way around and then having gone from outside sorry from inside out then outside in I've then done this kind of amalgam between I don't think he's able to actually capture that on the camera but that as I gently pull it around now is really really developing just utterly i mean it's mesmerizing you know it, it's like everything isn't it you can't really appreciate something until you stood in front of it you know we, we have the benefit of doing that so <laughs> seven days a week pretty much but you know what i'm seeing now and how it's currently progressing is is, is mind-blowing so okay that was just to give you a chance to just see what's going on so uh let's have a quick look at the chat i'm quite anxious now that I've got to be very, very cute now on how long I leave this because there's every possibility that this is going to start to morph and move, especially if it isn't quite 100% level. The, which is fine because it'll find its own kind of forms, but I also want to try and keep these forms going as much as possible and protect the edges. So we're at this kind of crucial phase now. How much do you keep blending? How much do you stop? It just comes down to the old way. Where, where do you start and where do you stop kind of points? So Andy's going to have a zoom in on that now. Do you want me to give it a gentle rotation now? All right, so I'm just going to gently rotate that by hand. Hopefully in some of the light now, you'll start to see some of these 
textures and blends start to um, start to appear, especially around that gold around the edge, this, this kind of halo thing. So I think that's really starting to, to come on now. I mean, apart, apart from sort of some of the drips around the edges out, which is a relatively straightforward thing, that's, that's, that's pretty sensational. Certainly that, that inside out flame is looking pretty good. Uh, Trina Kirk says, I love this, thanks very much. Oh, Anthony Appellum just became a Patreon. Thank you so much. That's really kind of you. Can we give a thank you to uh, uh, Antonia, please, buddy? How very kind. Thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, friend. Thank you. Oh, well, on that one. I'm bearing on the wrong you. camera. <laughs> Antonia, thank you. Thank you so much. That's awesome. I hope to be flooding Patreon with some really amazing behind the scenes stuff we're just trying to ready it all please give us an opportunity to, to get all that stuff ready for you guys that are now at patreons so thank you so much that's a brilliant thank you um okay it's a geode says cali karashaka and it's a supernova how nice is that uh the ian holmes a uh, geonova <laughs> yeah, geonova says Andy. very good uh reef gaming it feels like over 100 here today at work Ooh. Richard Wheels thinks it's a vortex pool. Fantastic. Uh, Pinky Pie is giving us a uh, heart and some claps. Thank you very much, Pinky Pie. Would you put no, no real pink tonight. No pink single band like helped us out with the other week. I'm sorry about that. But, um, uh, okay. Uh, getting paid to watch this great looking art. Excellent. Uh, AD, you're the best. Yes, he is. He is the best. Thank you very much for pointing me out, guys. Thank you so much. Right. Okay. So we had a, a small interlude there. And what I want to do, obviously, I can sort the sides out as and when. I'm just now looking. I'm just looking now. We're having it on the chest because I just want to make sure that as we have a little gentle walk around here, this is the crucial edge, crucial edge here. We need to preserve this white. Now it's here. It's just started to go a little bit. So what I may have the opportunity to do is I'm trying to walk as slowly as I can, is to gently pull this white to the back up a little bit. The one thing that I don't want to do is make the gold any bigger. So my desire now is just to pull the white back in a bit and control the edge of this gold around here, right? So we're going to give it another rotation, just see if I can pull that back into line a little bit. So let's whiz, whiz this bad boy up. Eventually, it'll start and click. Come on. Come on. Come on. You can do it. I'm turning it. Why isn't it moving? Come on. There we go. Whew. That was quite nerve-wracking. Just get a gentle head and it'll all work out. There we go. Whew. Right, so, here we go, here we go. Let's just try this. So we're just trying to now give the white a little bit of definition. It's just to pull the gold back into line a little bit. Now, I don't know if I can achieve that, but let's see if we can. So we're just going to put on with a fairly light touch, back on with a fresh um, sponge, and I'm using the scary side. It just kind of digs into the paint, it gives it a little bit of, you know, uh, whatever word that is. All we're really doing here is redefining that edge, stop it really from going any more in the white. I'm pulling some of the gold back into itself, and this is only because if the gold does continue to move, It'll move while it's further in and not move out here. And that's the crucial thing. I don't want it to start coming out and messing with the line. So hopefully you can see now that we've pulled the, the gold back in to where the majority of the gold already is. So it means if it is going to do anything, it ain't going to move out into the white because the white has to be preserved. So we're now on the PTZ camera. So I'm going to keep quite as still as I can. And hopefully that that by moving the gold. Now you can see the inner ring of gold starting to build itself back up now. So uh, that's that's having the desired effect is to manoeuvre it back to where it needs to be. And then if it decides to move around there, it doesn't really matter. Right. Okay, I think I need to stop that now. That's much better. Yes, indeed, do 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 Look at that. Now, compared to what we just had a look on the walk around, we're going to do the same again now and just make sure that you can see what I mean. So. So we're going to, okay, so here we go. So I'm going to stop that. Uh, we're going to have a gentle walk. Now here you see I've been able to redefine that edge. So I've just took the harshness of the gold away. We've got the blends, that table's still moving, isn't it? I thought it was, 
We've got the blends with the colours that are underneath still there, but I've actually just calmed the gold down a bit. So that was the uh, that was the principle of using that exercise. And actually, probably, if we stay here for just a second, you can see these rings, hopefully. They're, so there's just three or four rings now which are quite built up, but as you can see, I've pulled them in towards the, the, this side of the painting rather than have them out here. So I hope this should, be, this should stop all this pulling outside of here which is where you just redefine the edge. And it might all sound long-winded, but I just wanted to explain to you the reasons why I wanted to do that with the white. Right, so Ruth Glenn, yes, thank you very much for reminding us. So which camera did you say, buddy? We're on the uh, corner camera. So remember, guys, 20,000 subscriber giveaway video. First things first. You have to be subscribed to the channel. That's the very first thing, okay? You got that? Great. The next thing, watch the video, tell us which one of the paintings you like the best, and then drop us an email and tell us which is your preferred choice. It's that simple. Email address you'll get from the video, and it's the 20,000 subscriber giveaway video. You can't miss it, head onto the channel, and it's right there in front of you. Now you've only got until Friday, because that's when we're drawing it, We'll be picking two winners on Friday. We've got 48 hours to go, guys. If you haven't watched the video, head over there when we're finished today. Go watch the video, subscribe, give us a like, and enter the competition. Dead simple. Just watch the video. We're giving away two paintings because we've, well, we're a few away, but almost at 20,000 subscribers, which has been an amazing achievement for us. And that's why we're giving the stuff away. So remember, head on over there. Thanks to Reef Game, you reminded us to remind you guys. Go watch the vid, enter it. And I'll keep my fingers crossed for you. You can actually win a painting painted in here, just as these are done on a Wednesday. So remember, check it out and give us a subscribe, guys. Okay? Right, okay, so this is still moving, which is odd because I've actually turned it. I thought I turned it all the way off, but obviously I haven't. Right now I have. Okay, so barring the edges then, guys, which will be relatively straightforward to do, I have to say, I rather like that. Now then, okay, uh, so what I've got, Abdul Nugal says, excellent work, thank you very much indeed. Abdul, that's very kind of you. Katie Herring says, stunning. Third Eye Open has given us a so beautiful, that's very kind. And it does look like candy, says Daisy Longmire, I agree with you, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, Gaz Rogers, tonight's painting looks amazing, thank you very much indeed, that's very kind of you. And uh, James, thank you, Ed and Andy, for opening up your processing studio again tonight. James, as always, it's a complete pleasure. Thank you so much. And uh, Trina, oh, Trina's off. Watch. <laughs> bye. Bye, Trina. Cheerio. We haven't, we haven't finished yet, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, dear, how wonderful. And uh, Katie Herring says, another successful evening. Well, I have to agree with you, Katie. So, I mean, all I'll be doing then um, <coughs> off air is tidying the edges up with a drop of white paint. I'm sure you don't want to sit there and watch me do that. But, so, let's have a quick recap. What have we done tonight? Well, we've hung out for an hour and we've had fun. That's the most important thing. AD and I have hopefully kept you entertained. We've also repurposed the canvas and made something beautiful out of it. We've got the birth of a star. We've got a supernova. We've got something spatial and galactic that really can't be confined to canvas. And I have enjoyed it immensely. Hopefully this has given you an idea and an insight into a different kind of technique that we do here. A little bit more considered maybe certainly all about the blending some nice simple techniques and actually just proving that you can make something very very beautiful out of a very very simple idea and i think that's what we've achieved this evening so having one final look on the overhead fantastic the orange in the center that kind of nucleic kind of hole has just turned out beautiful let me give it a little rotate for you guys and then we quickly did a define of black and blended that in and that's held its shape and is looking sensational. And then we introduced that, we mixed in some white and then we got the very light lilac around the edge, just that quite little bit of subtlety. And then we went straight in with the gold and did our blends in the gold which goes all the way out to the white. I gotta say guys, I think this is looking stunning. I genuinely can't wait for this to be dry. Hopefully it will be by next week and hopefully we can take some pictures of it and post it out for you when you join us again next week. So Ian's asking, will I have to restretch the canvas as we've reused it? Uh, no, Ian, because this one is a pre-made one for us, then we'll just uh, give it a quick tap underneath to retention it again when the paint is settled down. 
and we're away, we're all good. So, uh, but a great question and thank you for answering that, so I do appreciate it. At the room, guys, this is holding very, very well, so I'm really pleased with that. So, okay, our stronger scenes, yes, are we going to finish the edge? Yes, I know you can see that's not finished yet. Yep, yeah, that's fine, I'll just sit there for 10, 15 minutes and paint the edges in and then the edges will be done. So, yes, happy days, very, very happy with that. And uh, Zane Taylor thanks, says, thanks again, boys, for the inspiration. Like, always our pleasure. I'm sorry, just taking a bow as we speak. Uh, Shannon likes it, and Paul Amberart likes it. Um, Robert Moodin, cosmic looking, nice, thank you. Remember, guys, if you like this, give us a thumbs up. Just hit the thumbs up button now. If you're still watching, thank you so much. It really helps us out. And uh, Nana Mayo, what time should we be here on Friday? Uh, well, we're not, we're not doing a draw on air on Friday, we haven't planned that yet, but we will be doing the draw at some point on Friday. We'll video it, so don't worry, uh, but it's not going to be live on air, Nana, so don't worry about that. You haven't got to sit by your computer, okay? Just next Wednesday, that's all you've got to do. <laughs> and uh, Rachel Green enjoyed my first live punk. Thank you. Well, Rachel, thank you very much for joining us. And I hope to see you here next week. Thank you very, very much, that's great. Good to give you a shout out. Uh, Jeffrey Jenkins. Uh, fun watching, thank you very much. Wayne liked it, Kali Karashaka liked it. Nelson Jr has given us some thumbs up and a clap. So is Marion Moore, the two in essence says thank you guys. Oh, to the abstract. Oh, to Pinkie Pie. Yes, I've just seen it. Pinkie Pie, thank you so much, that's awesome. Uh, James Sims, why not make it business travel could prevent me from watching live. No worries, James. We won't send, send the heavies around to, to drag you up in front of the computer, so thanks for letting us know. Les Knight enjoyed it. Uh, Art of the Abstract, as always, you're one of the artists that have been looking to as a role model for a long time now. I've been around since you've been digital, thanks. Wow, I'll take a bow with that. Thank you so much. That's very humbling, thank you. Uh, Tina Lanning loves it. Nicholas Cage is already out of here. Uh, the Rita's given us a heart, and Nana Maya says thank you. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching. Amy, would you like to say cheerio, my friend? Thanks, guys. Really appreciate you uh, staying here and watching, and again, don't forget, Give us a thumbs up if you uh, if you enjoyed this. Um, like we said, the 20,000 subscriber giveaway. We are very, very close to 20,000. We were hoping we'd be there, but obviously a certain thing that's been going on for the last three or so months has pretty much put everybody outside jogging, walking, cycling, <laughs> walking the dog, going insane, and whatever it be. So it's been a little bit slow. People that know YouTube know that um, it's been terrible for YouTubers. Uh, revenues have been slashed and so on and so forth. So we, we kind of understood that we were going to be a, a little bit reduced on our subscribers, but we're hoping that you know you guys enjoy what we do and we'll keep pushing forward. And then you know when we get to the hundred thousand subscribers and we'll figure out what we're going to give away. Um, but yeah, just thanks everybody for staying with us and um, and supporting us. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah, couldn't have said it better myself. Thanks, mate. That's that's great. Absolutely brilliant. And he said it in a nutshell. And your support means everything to us. We can't all stress that enough. Thank you for coming here week after week and spending time with us because you really do make a difference. So wherever you are, whatever you're doing in the next seven days, on behalf of us both, please stay safe, please stay well and healthy. Thank you so much for watching. We're going to be here next Wednesday. We're going to be doing it all over again. Run and tell off all of your friends. And we will see you all being well same time next week. Guys, thank you so much for watching. And from Suarez HQ, a very good night. We're out of here.